Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created these Hearts Candy Valentine's Day beer can glass cups. To make these, I use Tech Wrap Diagonal Rainbow Stripe Vinyl. I really love this vinyl because it's super colorful and shimmery. So if that's something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask on in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here are the vinyls that I use. They are the Tech Wrap Diagonal Rainbow Stripe Vinyls. In this video, I only did use two, but they come in different colors. I do have a discount code with Tech Wrap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. I'll put my discount code here on this frame, but I'll also put it down below in the video description. And I'll also link the Tech Wrap website in case you guys want to check it out. I absolutely love Tech Wrap vinyl. It is my go-to vinyl for all my crafting projects. So definitely check them out. They have a large variety of vinyl as well as weeding tools. Really quick before we begin, I want to show you guys where I got the SVG, the cut file. I did buy it off Etsy and the shop name is called Earth Tone Studio Shop. I just searched Valentine's Day Libby Glass SVGs and this was one of the ones that I liked. These glass cups are called either Libby glass or beer can glass so you can search them um, either way. Once I bought it I went ahead and downloaded it to my computer. So after downloading it to my computer I'm gonna go ahead and upload it onto Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna click on upload on the left hand corner and go ahead and insert my SVG. Now that I have it on design space, I'm gonna make sure that it is the correct sizing. Sometimes these come already pre-sized, sometimes they don't. So you just gotta make sure. This is going to be a layered decal and the bottom I'm going to do it in black and then the one that's in pink, I'm gonna do it with the tech wrap vinyl. So here's the sizing that I'm going to do. I'm going to do 9.875 for the width and then 4.127 for the height. That sizing fits for the 16 ounce beer can glass cups. Once I have that ready, I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. And since I am going to do two cups, I'm going to go ahead and on the left hand corner where it says project copies, I'm going to put two and I'm going to click on apply and that will apply two different cuts. So now I'm going to begin and cut out my design. Here I'm using my tech wrap standard tack cutting mat. I'll go ahead and link this as well as all the materials that I use down in the video description. I'm going to load it with my black vinyl first, that way my machine can cut that first. Here is my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out my design. You can cut out designs with any kind of cutting machine, whether you have a silhouette or a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Maker 3, this one here is the Cricut Explore Air 2. For this, I use the regular vinyl cut setting. Now that my cutting machine has cut out my the first part of my design, I'm gonna go ahead and weed that out. To weed it out, I'm going to use my weeding pen from Tech Wrap. I really like this weeding pen. It has a sharp stainless steel tip, which allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. Here is some of their other weeding tools, which I'll go ahead and link down below in the video description. Here I'll use my weeding pen to go ahead and weed out the excess vinyl from this design. Now 
Now I'll load my mat with my Tech Wrap Diagonal Rainbow Stripe Vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and put both of these on one mat and cut them out. When you do this and you're cutting out two different vinyl colors on one mat, you want to make sure that your mat aligns with your mat on Cricut Design Space. That way your design doesn't cut out outside of the vinyl. Here is my machine cutting out my design. I do have the cut setting on custom and I do have it on glitter vinyl. And I also have the cut pressure on more since this vinyl is pretty thick. So now that I have my design cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and use my tech wrap tools again to go ahead and weed this out. This did take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and put some background music um, so you guys can watch me weed this out. Now that I have these all weeded out, I'm going to go and layer these decals. I'm going to use some painter's tape here to tape down my decal just so that it's not moving around while I'm trying to layer it. Here I'm going to be using parchment paper to help layer my vinyl. I'm going to place it on top of my bottom layer. Then I'll remove the backing off my top part of my vinyl decal. Then you're gonna leave a little bit of the bottom layer exposed and put your next layer on top. It will not stick to your parchment paper. You can move it around and line it up. You'll be able to see through the parchment paper. Once you have that exactly how it's supposed to go, you go ahead and begin to pull out the parchment paper from underneath the top part of the layer decal and using your, a squeegee, a scraper tool, go ahead and adhere that on to the bottom layer. Now I'm going to do the same for my second decal that I'm going to be placing on my other cup. So here are both of my decals already layered and ready to be placed on my cups. The bottom one is missing a little piece there on the forever heart, which I'll be placing um, later on. I did find the piece and I'll place it on the cup once I have that on. So this is the cups that I'm going to be using. These are called beer can glass cups. Some people also call these Libby glass cups. Um, I purchased these here at World Market for $3.99. I'll go ahead and link them down below. Tech Wrap also has them. Um, I'll go ahead and link those as well. Now I'll be placing my decal on my cup. First, I'm going to use an alcohol prep pad and just go ahead and wipe down my cup. That way I get rid of any fingerprints that might be on my glass. While that dries, I'm going to get my decal here ready. I'm going to remove that backing off of it. Here I'm using my parchment paper again and I'm putting it behind my decal and I'm going to use it to make sure that my vinyl decal will align well all around my cup. Now that I saw that it did, I'm going to go ahead and begin to adhere my decal onto my cup, slowly removing the parchment paper from underneath and just working my way around the cup. Now I'm going to use my tech wrap squeegee and just scrape along the entire cup just to make sure that all the vinyl is well adhered onto the cup. Then I'm going to go ahead and begin to remove my transfer tape from on top of my vinyl decal. Thank you. 
Here is how my cups turned out. I absolutely loved how these turned out. They have that nice blend of a rainbow effect as well as that shimmer. These are great gifts and they also sell really great during Valentine's Day. So that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask that in the comment section. If you have any video suggestions for me, also drop that in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching.